Although the UAE government insists that the temporary ban on Tunisian women was informed by security threats, these demonstrators did not take it kindly. We are against these sudden decisions that have no explanation. If you have a problem with Tunisia, treat it away from the women of Tunisia. Why are only Tunisian women banned from entering the UAE? As the two countries try to seek a solution to this emerging diplomatic tiff, Tunisia has responded by banning Emirates flights from operating within Tunisian sky and land. But to some women rights activists, this is not enough. Tunisia's response is a diplomatic one. We call for a stronger reply to the withdrawal of the Tunisian ambassador from the United Arab Emirates until the truth of the matter becomes clear to us. We have appealed through this demonstration against the racist decision of the UAE and we need the UAE to apologize to the Tunisian people, both women and men. We are waiting for an official and courageous response from the Tunisian government on this decision. President Beji Kaid Asebsi has also weighed in by holding talks with the country's foreign minister to find a way out of the simmering diplomatic tensions. Currently, the government is seeking ways of transporting thousands of Tunisian women and girls stranded in Beirut and Abu Dhabi. Tunisia is known to have progressive laws that protect women's rights in the entire Arab world. And this latest incident is viewed by activists as an affront to these rights. Sony Methu, CGTN.